the latest on the search for a woman who vanished on the Outer Banks. Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. I mean, more than anything, we want to be able to take her home to her kids. Family and friends joined the search for a missing mom in the Outer Banks. Plus, just one day before President Obama's visit, a GOP heavy hitter makes a stop in Hampton Roads. Hear why former Mayor Rudy Giuliani says Virginia voters should cast their ballot for Mitt Romney. And this local bank collapsed. Now six people are facing federal charges. Find out why prosecutors say they are partly responsible for the fall of the Bank of the Commonwealth. Family members have now joined the search for an Ohio woman who disappeared while on vacation in the Outer Banks. It's just been over a week since anyone has heard from Lynn Jackenheimer. Investigators are also looking for her ex-boyfriend, Nathan Summerfield. He is a person of interest in this case. The two were on vacation with two children in Salvo. And that's what we find on your side's Andy Fox tonight. Andy? Yeah, Tom, this is the command center. It's shut down for the night. I just spoke with Major Norman Johnson. He's in charge of the investigation out here with Derrick County Sheriff's Office. He said they searched four major areas today and they found nothing. Uh, the search continues tomorrow on foot and also on boat along the shore of the Sound. There is no reason, though, to believe that she was ever in the water. They're still getting 15 to 20 calls a day. No major breaks, but they keep looking for Lynn. They arrived in two cars from Ohio, nine people who care a lot about Lynn Jackenheimer, shirts saying hope for Lynn on their backs. Lynn's sister, Tasha Holland, wants to feel hopeful. We all have felt helpless, and there's still several people at home that I'm sure feel helpless. The nine who are broken hearted are broken into two teams. All right, highway teams going this way here. They walk into the deep brush, real deep. You can't see me, can you? A lot of thick brush out here, miles of it here on the Outer Banks, especially between Salvo and Avon. Thick brush, trees everywhere. This is what the search crews are dealing with. Areas, lots of areas where you can hide a body. I mean, cactus is sticking in your skin that you have to pull out, and it's not a simple just tug out. Huge spiders jumping out at you. But that is nothing compared to the tragedy unfolding for the Jackenheimer family. Oh, it's absolutely horrible. It's 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 such a <clears throat> a knot in my stomach that I often question myself: Can I do it? Can I not? But I have to. I have to do it. It's better than what we have now. And today's search turned up nothing, but they keep on. But then when you walk away from what we just walked away from with. Nothing, you know, it's hard, but we just got to keep going. As they search in frustration, the Jackenheimer family is appreciative of the outpouring of love, and they have this message. Anybody in the area that any of this happened, if you have land, if you have boats, anything, just to like maybe search your area for five minutes, just to kind of check that off your list. And of course, if you hear anything, if you know anything, even if you don't think it's a big deal, but you think it might be something called the Dare County Sheriff's Office. And Tom, a very interesting thing, they've been using aerial photos to kind of get a, uh, a picture of the terrain, and that's kind of been guiding some of the searches that they've been doing over the last couple of days. And of course, it continues again tomorrow. Tom, back to you. Yeah, it could be a painstaking search. Thank you. Andy Fox reporting live from the Outer Bank.